Families are the pillars of the economy in the Arab world. They provide jobs and stability. When talking about the richest families in the world, Saudi Arabia cannot be disregarded. Saudi Arabia with its oil activities has no shortage of rich families. Being one of the richest economies in the world, there's no doubt that there are some pretty outstanding families and businesses in the country. Hello and welcome to our channel, today we bring you 10 of the richest Arab countries in the world. The families on our list may not be household names but if you drive a Toyota into Saudi Arabia, it comes from the Jamil family, one of the biggest Toyota dealers in the world. Sit tight, subscribe, and like this video as we proceed. Number 10 on our list is the Sharbatli family. Muhammad Abdullah Sharbatli Company. Limited is a leading fruit and vegetable distributor in the Middle East. This company is based in Saudi Arabia. Sharbatli is a family-run multinational company that focuses on producing, importing, and distributing a wide range of fresh produce. The company has been in this business since the 30s, providing fresh fruits for pilgrims visiting the holy sites of Mecca and Medina. Over the years, the company has been involved in large investments in agriculture and packing facilities. Only the finest fruits are worthy of the Sharbatli brand which signifies premium quality fruit and expresses the tradition of the family-run business. Muhammad Abdullah Sharbatli Company LTD originates from a commercial activity established in the early 30s by Al Sayyid Abdullah Abbas Sharbatli. The Sharbatli has been a family of merchants and traders for a very long time. Sharbatli Company operates through more than 13 refrigerated distribution centers in Saudi Arabia. With a mission to provide high quality fresh produce that actively contributes to consumer wellness, the Sharbatli has made a lot of money from the selling and distribution of their produce as well as investments and real estate. This wealthy family has a net worth of $1.7 billion. Coming in at number 9 is the Bugshan family. Ahmad Salem Bugshan is the chairman and CEO of Mina Beverages Company, the group that owns the Pepsi bottling and distribution operation in Saudi Arabia. Holding a bachelor's degree in business administration, Mr. Ahmad is also the chairman of Saudi Steel Profile Manufacturing Company. Limited, Entertainment Innovation Company. Limited, Ahmed Salem Bugshan and Sons Trading Company, and Ahmed Salem Bugshan Investment Company. The Ahmed Salem Bugshan Group was founded in 1923. The company operates and owns steel plants and is engaged in the production of steel. With more than 90 years in the business, Mr. Ahmed Bugshan and his family have built an influential empire in Saudi Arabia. This group has expanded to create more than 50 subsidiaries cutting through advertising, investments, beverages, contracting, crude oil exploitation, food, hotels, hospitals, insurance, logistics, mining, port operations, and more. These subsidiaries have collectively made the Abugshan family one of the richest in Saudi Arabia, with a net worth of $1.8 billion. Next on our list at number 8 is the Alhakir family. In Saudi Arabia, the first name that comes to mind when tourism or the Arabian world is mentioned is the Alhakir Group. This group was created in 1975 mainly to invest in the sectors of entertainment and hospitality under the leadership of Sheikh Abdulmosin Alhakir. Over the last 10 years, the group has expanded to include more than 48 entertainment centers and amusement parks and more than 33 strategically positioned hotels across Saudi Arabia. The Alhakir family has become a leader in Saudi Arabia's tourism, entertainment, and retail sectors. With a total worth of $1.8 billion, it's no wonder this family makes it one of the richest Arab families in the world. Moving on to number 7, we have the Khalid Bugshan family. With a net worth of $2 billion, it is no wonder that Khalid Bugshan and family make our list. The Bugshan family owns 17 companies in industries such as real estate, food and beverages, education, healthcare as well as beauty and perfumes. Khalid Bugshan is the CEO of the Jeddah-based Saudi Bugshan Group, one of three subsidiaries of his grandfather's Abdullah said Bugshan Company which was formed in 1923. Number 6, Al Jaber Family. Al Jaber Group is a privately owned company that provides professional services in the construction, heavy lifting and logistics, manufacturing, and trading sectors. Under the leadership of its founder, Abayd Khalifa Al Jaber Al Mari, the group has continued to move from strength to strength to achieve its status of market leader across the industries it is involved in. This family heritage has nurtured an atmosphere of empowerment and collaboration, ownership and entrepreneurial flair. The company is wholly owned by the Al Jaber family and intends to remain family controlled.
Al Jaber is no doubt the largest construction company in the whole of Abu Dhabi with a net worth of $2.5 billion. Breaking onto the top five, we have the Al Ajlan family. This group was founded by four brothers, Ajlan, Saad, Mohammed, and Fahad. Years of establishment led them to the reputable Ajlan and Brothers Group in 1979. Today the group is considered as one of the most reputable Saudi companies in the world of textiles and garments and one of the largest investors in real estate development. Ajlan and Brothers are known for producing and selling men's headwear and ready-made clothing which includes dresses and underwear. This company has over 220 branches in 24 major cities such as Riyadh, Kobar, Mecca, and others. Agilin Group is the leading manufacturer of high-end fashion. The company also imports and retails high-quality fashion apparel, toys, bedding, sports goods, and light furniture. Al Agilin serves as chairman of the board of Agilin & Brothers, which currently has more than 9,000 employees. He sits on the board of various textile, real estate, and investment companies as well as charity organizations. This family has a net worth of $2.6 billion. Now at number 4, we have the Abutawood family. Abutawood is a company, privately owned by the Abutawood family. It began as a small wholesale firm in a town in Saudi Arabia known as Jeddah in 1935. The company was founded by Sheikh Ismail Ali Abutawood. With a focus on localized market brand development and distribution services, the Abutawood family has made a lot of money from this business. Abutawood Group is the preferred distributor for some of the world's best companies including Procter & Gamble, Clorox, Quaker, Ferrero, and others. Most of the brands the group distributes are either number one or number two in their category. As a progressive family-owned business, Abutawood combines the traditional values of personal trust and responsibility with the best management practices. The Abutawood family is one of the wealthiest in Arabia with a net worth of $4 billion. Climbing to the third position we have the Al-Kharafi family. The Al-Kharafi family is one of Kuwait's principal merchant dynasties. The Ma Al-Kharafi group was founded 50 years ago by Muhammad Adulmosin Al-Kharafi. The family plays a major role in the country's public life as a lot of them are involved in the country's affairs. The older brother of the group chairman Jassim is the speaker of the National Assembly, while his sister Faiza was president of Kuwait University from 1993 to 2002. The group chairman Nasser Mohammed al Karafi was rated by Forbes as the 48th richest man in the world. The core activity of the al Karafi group is civil engineering. The group has also diversified into food production and processing, printing, and aviation. This variety of activities helps to increase the group's net worth which now stands at $5 billion. Now we approach the richest families with the al Shea family as the second richest Arab family in the world. The Al Shea family owns the Al Shea Group which was established in Kuwait in 1890. This group is one of the world's leading groups that are active in fashion and footwear, food, health and beauty, pharmaceuticals, optics, and home furnishings. It is a franchise operator for over 70 retail brands including Mother Care, H&M, Debenhams, American Eagle Outfitters, Payless Shoes, Pottery Barn, and others. In addition to its retail operations, the Al Shea Group has holdings in real estate, construction, hotels, and general trading, largely centered in the Middle East. Muhammad Abdul Aziz Al Shea is the executive chairman of Kuwait-based M.H Al Shea Company, the retail division of the Al Shea Group of Companies. The Al Shea Company has a net worth of $5 billion. Topping the list of the richest Arab families is Saudi Arabia's Alliant family who own the Alliant Group. The Alliant Group was created in 1947 by Suleiman Alliant as a contracting and trading company which now includes a wide commercial and industrial as well as an investment portfolio. The group has international offices in New York, London, Luxembourg, Vienna, Athens, Riyadh and Singapore. This business invests across listed equities, private equity, debt, and real estate. The Alliant Group was recognized by Forbes as the top Arab family business in 2021. The group seeks to invest in the consumer and retail healthcare, biotech, financial services, energy, and technology sectors. It is estimated that this private family has accumulated a fortune of $8 billion. For some, keeping tabs on the richest families with adoration, envy, or resentment is more fun than keeping up with the Kardashians. What do you think? You can leave a comment for us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell for more videos. Thanks for watching.